Well, we know the number of people living in Brookmead Park out in West Nashville has dwindled, but it's still very much a homeless encampment. So today, volunteers joined together to help clean some of it up. Well, new at six, News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald explains why neighbors really don't consider trash pickup as progress. It's definitely eye opening. You know, you go back home and you get to appreciate, you know, what you have. Volunteers from various Nashville neighborhoods convened in West Nashville to clean that community's park. You find all kinds of things: uh, jars, sodas, clothes hangers, face masks, uh, everything. Brookmead Park remains the home to dozens of people experiencing homelessness. Their house neighbors wonder if this will always be where some live. It has become a magnet for the homeless or the addicted and mentally ill people to come into this park from all over the city because nothing's going to be done, so they know they can come over here. It may feel that way to Tim Tomes with Reclaim Brookmead Park because the headway the city and nonprofits have made with homelessness has mostly been off site. Here, what Tomes neighborhood group sees is people who are too at home. But as long as people continue to bring everything that they possibly need, why would you leave? The city has set aside nearly a million dollars to renovate and restore Brookmead Park, but city leaders tell me they're not going to be able to do anything here until no one is living in the park. And that $850,000, it can't be used to relocate residents in the encampment. So while the trash pickup is nice to see, Tomes worries it's a waste until the city overhauls its plan for the park. Our board is very grateful for people like this. We just feel like what it ends up helping with is not much at all. You know, they'll come in and clean up for the day, but then in a couple of days, it's just back like it was again. In West Nashville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.